Hi everyone, welcome back to Andrea's Attic. Today we are going to be continuing colouring Rosie from Whimsy Girls at Work by Hannah Lynn as part of a Whimsical 2020 with John, the Bibliophile Colourist. He's been doing, he did one from the Steampunk Darlings book. We don't have that, but we will be doing one of the Steampunk ones later on in the year. So just a disclaimer, this is an adult channel. Um, all the content on here is directed at adults. Um, we talk about adult um, topics on here and we deal with, uh, we, you know, colouring and hobbies. So it is a hobbies channel. I do focus mostly on colouring, although I will be doing a reading roundup at the end of the month of what I read in January. And sometimes we do a spot of photography. I use colouring as um, stress relief uh, and uh, to alleviate my depression and anxiety. Um, it does help, it takes me into a world. Sometimes we do a bit of diamond painting. Um, so it is an adult channel, it's not aimed at children. Let's crack on with Rosie. We're doing her shirt. Um, for now we are gonna, because it's a big space, we're gonna use the very big, the bullet, which I'm not that keen on but uh, for big areas it's brilliant. I'm really loving it so far, the way this is coming out. I mean, her skin's not as good as I would have liked, but for a first attempt, I'm really pleased with it. So I want to say hello to all my new subscribers. My subscriber count is going up again. I'm very happy. It's nice to have you with me. I hope you in are enjoying this and all the other videos that I've previously uploaded. I do appreciate each and every one of you because we are slowly climbing towards the magical 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> At that point, if I wish to, I'll be able to monetize my account. I really hope to, um, mainly because I'm looking at other forms of income. I know I'm not gonna make millions at it. <laughs> I'm not worried about that. Just because in a couple of years, well, the year and a half when Jennifer goes to proper school, proper reception, I th there's a chance I'm going to have to give up work because I won't have any childcare for her in the holidays because my dad will be in his 80s by that point. My mum will be head to be 75 as well. So it's not fair to ask them to have a boisterous three and a half year old, four year old, five year old every day on holidays. If they're still with us, they may not be. I hope they are. So it's just from that point of view that we've got to, I've got to be careful. I need to find alternate streams, which is one of the reasons I do, I do the eBay. It is to help get some money saved when that happens. I do online surveys, not as often as I would like. I find it very difficult to do because they're always really long, you know. And I don't mind doing a 10, 15 minute one. When it's 25 minutes, it's a bit too much. Like the only time I can really do it is at night. Because obviously if I was doing it during the day, Jennifer wouldn't be very happy if I was constantly doing the... Um, I'm not paying attention and they do time out after a while and of course if you've got a child tugging at you you've got to be able to stop doing what you're doing so with ebay and coloring and making videos if she suddenly if she's asleep and wakes up i can drop what i'm doing and i can just go and make sure she's okay and then if if i can get back to what I was doing or I stop for half an hour or an hour to sort her out make sure she's happy feed her if she wants to feed her change her if she needs some changing sometimes she just wants to play and that's a nice thing I love playing with her so she has to come first so as much as I do enjoy my job as much as anybody can enjoy their job I do kind of prefer you know I would prefer to be able to find a job where I can work from home and that's why I started doing the eBay it's so I've got money coming in 
but it's also gives me the opportunity to walk her to school, pick her up from school. And be with her in the summer holidays where, yeah, I know there's probably some kids club, but there's not going to be something five days a week that I'll be able to drop her off at. Let's be honest, chances of that is so slim. I was watching me do the other video and other than there's some long gaps where yeah, I'm not doing anything on screen because I've either not pulled it up into out of view or I've um, I'm getting pens or something from the thing and I'm not but that's just something I need to work on. I'm not worried about going out of the lines, not at all. Not at all. I'm really enjoying this picture. It's 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 not too complicated and it's nice. There we go. I will need to get that off somehow. Yeah, it's fine. So the good news is I've got my car back. The issue has now been resolved with the oil filter. Apparently the oil filter was gunked, even though he told me that he changed everything and it was perfect when I had it. I hadn't even done 200 miles in it and the oil filter needed changing, but he's done it and he said, keep an eye on it, 500 miles, give me a call and I'll come and I will change it again. Now it takes me ages to do 500 miles because I only drive really to work and back. The only time I actually do anything, any other, type of mileage is when I go to um, on holiday which isn't till June so I can't see it you know who knows but then I'll have it I'll have it um, serviced in the summer as well before we go on holiday I always always do because it, it, it's, it's best to there so that's that. So now we've just got to do the words, the background, and the bubble. Now the bubble in the original Rosie the Riveter poster was blue, but I'm going to do it black and find where my black is. So I'm just going to go and have a look for that. It won't be a stack. So I've got it. So we're going to do black, which is A5000, and the lettering, which I think is white on the original, we're actually going to do it in pineapple yellow, which is A937. We'll do a brown at the bottom for the little trim, and then we'll do an acrylic paint background. Oh, that'll be fun, because I never use acrylics. So let's get the black out first, and we'll start with the bullet. So yeah, so my car... It's fine, it's outside, it's, i just got to move it up halfway up the hill because our street fills up really quickly in the evenings. If you, can, if, you can, if you come in the afternoon, you'll find somewhere to park pretty much so easily, it's unreal. But at night, when everybody's home, it's really hard to park anywhere near the house if you go out. I mean, if you have to go out, you have to go out. I mean, it's like, I needed my car fixing, so... I don't care, I'll go and get it later, hopefully, we might go out, it depends on the rain, because we're supposed to have a really bad storm, we're under Storm Brendan at the moment, names they give these stores, storms, and um, uh, it's supposed to be heavy rain all day tomorrow, which is so annoying, because I like to go out, I booked the day off, I actually messaged my line manager today, which is Monday I'm filming this, you'll be seeing this on Tuesday hopefully, and um, said look I've got car trouble I might have it back but is there any chance of annual leave tomorrow it, as it turns out it wouldn't have mattered if there wasn't because I've got the car but um, if it had been 
it was, it was possible it was another filter as well that needed changing but uh, he's tested it, it seems to be running fine, it's not making any beeping noises now. He said just keep an eye on it. So I've got tomorrow off so normally we would do stuff like post but I did the post today and I haven't had any more sales so. Saying that I did have one today which I could have posted tomorrow. But I thought I'm going, and I hadn't gone down, and it was an easy one to pack, so I thought let's just get it done, get it out. So hopefully we'll get some more sales. So I'm going to be listing some cameras tomorrow. Got three cameras that I've tested. They're already drafted, basically, and I've just got the photos up and just do the description. The um, prices are in ready. Then I got some of those rubber stamps that you use for card making. Inks, rubber ink stamps, patterns on. I've got loads of those I bought. I was getting four for a pound. So I've got loads of those. I was trying to build, put them into themes, but I'm just gonna job lot them in boxes of 10, I think. I'm not sure how many I've got. I'll count how many I've got and then I'll split them into lots. The last lots I've had of those have gone really well and I've also got a kilo of jewellery that I can put live that I got from the auction just over a year ago. So that's cool. Cool man. I don't think these pens are going to last you very long because I'm going to want to use them all. Because I'm going to want to use them loads. I, there's loads of pictures I want to do with them. I mean, I'm not going to use them on things like mandalas and stuff like that. When I've got my, I've got Sharpies, I've got Crayola Super Tips, I've got fine liners, I've got gel pens. Um, so. Because of that, I don't want to use... These are going to be for this sort of thing. Colour in heaven. I'll still use my Touch 5s as well. Because their, their very pale skin tone is really good. So I might use that one and mix it with these. Till it runs out. Which won't be long because I have used it quite a lot. Yeah. And as I said, the, the bag that the Touch 5 comes in. I probably put my gel pens in because at the moment they're just in a plastic Ziploc bag. Mainly because I haven't got anywhere that I can permanently store them. You know, I can't put them on into cups. I haven't got a desk to put them on. I do my filming at my dining room table. So if I'm using gel pens, they're either in a pencil case or a Ziploc or they're in the original packaging. But, uh, gosh, we haven't taken us long to do this. This is not going to be a very long video. Well, it might not be. I know we've done a bit and I turned it off to get the pens. And the main reason is I don't want you to be looking at a blank screen of the picture and, and like this. So, I don't often watch my videos back, but I just thought I'd have a quick look. And like I said, I was watching it. I thought, oh, I look quite confident the way I'm colouring with these markers and I'm not, I'm not at all but I'm just going for it, I'm just doing it it's like anything, you've just got to do it so for those of you who like the weekly vlogs I am currently filming one like I said, it is ad hoc as and when I can because I do forget and there are certain times I can't um, but we did do a bit today and I said, I've, I've got a new diamond painting come in which cost me less than four pounds it's the same size as the other one 40 by 30 centimeters or 30 by 40 centimeters however you want to put it um and it's a marilyn monroe i was gonna get a really big marilyn one and i was just having a quick look at aliexpress and i i thought this was like oh it's like less than five dollars so i thought great less than a fiver even in the uk i know it's going to be less than a fiver so I thought, Do you know what, I'm just going to order it. And it was it came out, it's less than £4. It's only like £3.75. 
so even if it's rubbish I'm not worried about that and that's why I bought the one I did I thought even if it's rubbish it was only a tenner it was around ten pound the other one the Marin one was in the sale so I'm happy I got it because um, yeah it's a really nice picture of her so that will be in an unboxing and well it'll be in my art supplies haul for the end of the month because I'm not going to have many colouring books I think I might be able to have two I'm short of cash already it's not even halfway through the month quite um, and I'm out well I'm not out of money but I'm running low so I'm just going to sip of my tea I'm going to make another one in a minute, it's getting cold. I'm not too worried about being stuck up um, up late tonight because, as like I said, we're, I'm not in work tomorrow now. Three day week this week and then next week's a full week. And the week after that's the last week of the month, thank God, it'll be payday. But it's also Jennifer's birthday. And that's part of the reason I'm short, because I had to order a birthday present, which was... I know I only pay half of it, but it was 40 quid. She doesn't need a lot. We don't buy her a lot at the moment. She's not at the age where she's saying, can I have this, can I have that? You know, it's like we took her in the toy shop on Saturday, and she bought something with her own money. I say that. It's just a child benefit. I use it for treats at the moment. I save some of it. I use it for treats. If it gets to a point where I need to spend it because she needs shoes, then that's fine. Normally, I use it. I spend it on her clothes. Um. So, yeah. She bought a pack of twirly woos because we went in the shop and they had tons of CBB's toys. And I was like, oh God, they've got Moon and Me, they've got Bing, they've got Twirly Woos, they've got this, they've got that. Like, oh my life, it was crazy. So I'm going to get her a pair of Hey Dougie pyjamas as well. She loves Hey Dougie. Moon and Me is her favourite, I think. Because every time she sees the ad, the, the advertiser, she's like, Nana. And if you go, Peppy Nana, like they do on it, she goes, she repeats, Nana, just like that, it's so cute. So. Washing machine man's supposed to be coming Wednesday to fix my washing machine door. And then next time it goes, it's a new one, a brand new one. I'm not faffing around anymore. It's just we couldn't afford, can't afford one at the moment. We missed a bit because of all the blinking other things that have gone wrong. Oh dear, I missed a bit. <laughs> there we go. I really like this picture. I'm loving this. Now I'm not the best artist. I know I'm not, but I really love colouring. I'm glad I started doing this. And I can remember when I started doing it. It was a few years ago, I think it was 2016. Was it 20? Yeah, I think it must have been 2016. And, um... I got, um, I was really into doing the booktube and Carlton Books sent me a huge box of books which I'm still grateful for and I reviewed some of them and two of them were colouring books and I also got Molly Harrison's colouring book not long after that and I can remember listening, Paul was watching the football on the TV so I, and I still do this if he's watching football and Jennifer's in bed now I put on an audiobook and I was listening to Dark Matter was the year that came out and colouring and I loved it and I've been colouring ever since there's been times when I haven't especially since Jennifer's been born I just haven't got the time although now she's quite happily and she'll entertain herself for ages before she wants you to play with her so we're trying to do a little bit of a mandala or something like that when she's um Doing that, and I've got a mandala on the go now, and then I'm going to finish Alice so I can finish off the review with the pencils. Like, so I've just got to finish the picture off, and it's just finding the time to do that, finding the time to sit and film. 
that's easy I just wait till she's gone to bed but because I'm then doing say this one I'm not finishing off that Alice picture so I might have to go with it tomorrow seems we're going to be stuck probably more than likely going to be stuck in my plan is to do as much eBay as I can play with Jennifer as much as I can cook a nice healthy stir fry for dinner yeah and then oh finish Alice or do a bit more of that oh the top it's off the other side oops I love the sound that that snap makes it is lovely and like I said I am still loving these markers these markers are the best thing since sliced bread I need to watch my arm as I put my one back in now let me just have a look and see what colour I want to do a little stretch at the bottom ginger is that that one yeah and then oops I've got to put the blend back we'll get the acrylic out and we'll put the markers away let me just zoom them out a bit we nearly finished guys we have so there are lots of different things I want to try um, I've never tried gouache I don't even know what it is um, I've never tried gelatos to me gelato is an ice cream <laughs> I'm so stupid I know um, I do want to try the Arteza Twi markers and the fine liners obviously my next purchase with the points and you know to get my points up a bit is they're going to be the um skins and then the greys right I'm going to get my paint ready I won't be a, a second okay so I've got my acrylic now I have no idea what this is going to be like it might be terrible so. oh that's quite nice actually if you look at the original it's sort of got she's got a yellow background but I don't want a bright yellow and it's not a bright yellow so I'm just going to fill in, these are only cheap brushes because I'm not going to buy spend a fortune on brushes when I'm, I'm not a very good artist, let's be honest. And I still haven't done her hair, I thought I did her hair. A little tuft of hair I missed, I thought I'd done that, um, I have to do that when the uh, paint's dry now. I'll have to make a note, otherwise I will will forget. Right, let me just pop that in there. I've got a smaller brush here now. So it's a really small one, I think. No, that will do. So I don't know what you can see. I don't think you can see very much at all, to be honest. I do apologise. So, I bought some cheap acrylic paint just to try backgrounds like this. I think I've done one background with it with some black I bought. Um, and that was fine. I just I don't want to use marker on such a big white expanse because it's just going to suck all the ink out and you know that's not good we don't want to suck all the ink out do we we want to make the markers last as long as we possibly can so that we have got can do more pictures so when I've got a big outline like this a big expanse Oops, excuse me knocking the camera. I really do need to get a mobile phone tripod thing. I'll have to have a look. You know, like a selfie stick tripod. I did buy one from one of my other phones, but the tripod section didn't work. That's what happens when you buy cheap crap. Because I have to make my money go as far as I can. So, but I'm going to have to have a good look 
and I buy cheap and it doesn't work so I must buy a bigger one a better one so oops So, here we go, we nearly finished this now. So like I said, when it's a big expanse like this, it was going to be better to do it with the acrylic, just to, you know, save as much of the ink as we can. I must put that top back on in a minute. I've got yellow acrylic paint everywhere. This is orange and yellow mixed together. The orange was too orange. So I sort of mix a bit of yellow with it just to, and the yellow was too yellow and I want it sort of somewhere in between. I could have put a bit more yellow in I guess, but. There we go. Hopefully this won't take too long to dry and I can get in and finish that piece of hair. It's going to bug me now. And the thing is I'll be able to see it because it's going to be open until it's dry. So as soon as it's dry, I'll crack out the two markers I used for her. Yeah, there's one thing about making videos. If you miss a bit and you haven't made a note what marker colours you've used, it doesn't really matter because you can just watch the video to find out what colours you used. Especially that's, a, that's another reason why I'm starting to say which colours I'm using. It's just so that if I make a mistake or I miss a bit like I did there, I can go back and watch the video and say, right, okay, it was that colour. I mean, with the browns, it's probably not going to be that difficult anyway. Now, if I go over her eyelashes, I'm not going to worry too much because I shall just go back over them with the um, black uh, marker later. I'm liking this. I like the way it looks. The different shades of orange and yellow. Because they will be, because I'm not very good at this. I'm not very good at getting everything even and textured and so I'm not worried about her eyelashes. I will go back over them later. When I do her hair, the bit I've missed. Oh, did you hear that? That's a sale or an offer. Nice. My favourite sound, that is. Uh, I did send out some offers to watchers earlier, so it might be an, um, an acceptance of something I've sent out. Um, there we go. And I'll have a look at it in a minute now. Here we go. I'll have a look at that. Hopefully it's something nice and expensive. It isn't usually, it's usually something that's worth about five quid. And it's like, oh, okay. A five pound sale would be due. But hey, I'll take it, it's money, especially when things only cost me 50p. There we go. I'm just putting a bit more orange over some of the really yellowy bits. Try and get it a little bit more even. But I'm quite happy with the way it looks, to be honest. There. So other than that piece of hair, and I've just got to go over her eyelashes, we have finished Rosie the Riveter. So I hope you've enjoyed this video of me um, using my RTs at Everblend Markers for the first time properly. Um, and like I said, doing a background with um, the acrylics is a nice change for me, something different. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up. Um, if you're not already a subscriber and you've just found me, please, please, please subscribe. I really appreciate every single one of you. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I post a new video. I will see you all again very, very soon with the next one. Don't know what I'm going to be colouring in next. Could be anything. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.